What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another best tweak of the day video. This is a crazy one as you guys can probably tell by the look of my device. It's called Honey and it brings the watch OS interface to your device on iOS 12. This is a really crazy tweak. It's not going to be for everybody, but I guarantee if you're using this tweak and a friend sees your, your device, they're going to be like, what in the hell and how the hell did you do that? Because it's pretty crazy looking. I think that this is really cool. Um, I like tweaks that, you know, really change up the look of your device and really make it look unique. Love tweaks that do this. So uh, this is basically how it looks. It's pretty much, like I said, the watch interface. So all of your apps are just all on one page. You have no swiping from page to page. And it's basically that kind of honeycomb uh, look of applications. There's quite a few cool settings. Um, before we get into the settings, I do want to mention that, you know, Figuring out where your applications can be a little tricky at first. I've been using this for uh, a little over a day now, and it, it's starting to grow on me a little bit, and it's becoming easier to find my applications. A little tip, if you guys couldn't tell, is basically the layout, the way the layout works is it's alphabetical. So you have, you know, I have one password up at the top here, and if we go all the way to the bottom right here, there is YouTube because it's, you know, the, the one of the last letters in the alphabet. So it's alphabetical and it goes uh, from the top left across the top row and then it continues on the next row, so on and so forth. So it is alphabetical and that might help you guys find your applications for when you first download this and you're not used to it. Um, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump into the settings for Honey. So this is the settings panel uh, for the Honey Tweak. Uh, first off, you have your enabled on off toggle at the top. I love that it has that because I don't want to use this all the time. Uh, it's just fun to use on occasion. So it does have a toggle to turn it on or turn it off. So I do appreciate that. You do have a respring button there. So to make any changes uh, to the tweak, you will have to do a respring. So keep that in mind. Uh, the next uh, section here is general settings. You have a haptic feedback uh, option so that when you launch one of the applications, you will get a little haptic feedback. That's pretty cool. You have the ability to hide the dock. I'll go ahead and turn that on so you guys can see what it looks like with the dock hidden. Uh, and then you have the ability to hide the badges for uh, the application. So the notification badges can be hidden. <clears throat> Next up, you have some home screen settings here. This is basically kind of uh, blur options. I have mine set to no blur because I like seeing my wallpaper uh, crystal clear, but you can make it a light blur, a dark blur, or a vibrant blur. We'll keep it on no blur. Next up is the layout settings. So I have mine set to full screen, so it's using all of my screen for the honeycomb effect. Uh, you can have it be just a square portion of the screen or an expanded version. Uh, and that's kind of useful. I'll leave it on expanded so you guys can see when I do a respring here. But when you have it on square or expanded, it's nice because you can still access your spotlight search. So that way, if you can't find an application, you can just pull down and, and manually search for it uh, and open it that way. So that's kind of useful, uh, especially when you first install this tweak and you're not used to it. Uh, so you can do that. And then the next is the icon shape. You can have a circle or default. Circle's pretty cool looking. It looks a lot more like an Apple Watch when it's in the circle mode. And then the next two settings here, uh, let's go ahead and if you delete the value, it'll show you what it is. So this is the icon size. As you guys seen, I had mine set to 70. Uh, we can go ahead and change it. Let's just, uh, I guess we could do like 100. And then the next value, if I delete that, is the icon spacing. So instead of doing 5, which is a very small spacing, I guess I could do like 25 so you guys can see what that looks like. Uh, and then like I said, once you've made changes to the tweak, uh, you go ahead and do a respring. And that's pretty much all there is to the settings for Honey. It's pretty simple and straightforward. Let's go ahead and let it respring and I'll show you guys how it looks. It's kind of neat. It actually respring's and it opens right back up to the settings panel. I've never really seen a tweak to that. It's always been to the lock screen you have to unlock, but uh, this tweak, when you respring it, it just basically does it um, within the settings and reopens to the settings, which is kind of a cool feature. I wish all tweaks did that. Um, but as you can see here, the changes that I've made, and as you can see, it's a little different looking. You can actually see the border of where it kind of stops at the top there and at the bottom. So since I'm on an expanded square, I can still access spotlight search uh, just like that. So if I wanted to search for a certain application, I can just type it out and find it that way, which is pretty cool. Um, and that's pretty much all there is to it, guys. Again, this tweak is called Honey and it brings the watch OS interface to your iPhone. Pretty cool. 
Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this best tweak of the day video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.